cameras and your mics, um, please, um, just to make sure that everything will work properly. And um, so if you could all turn off the mics and the cameras, we would uh, really appreciate that. Um, and then just a, a, a quick uh, short note. So uh, the questions should be addressed using the shot. And uh, at the end of the presentation, uh, we will have uh, time to answer all of your questions uh, and for you to, better, to be better aware of this uh, text for I am uh, much making events and, uh, and uh, how uh, this project can, uh, can uh, provide opportunities uh, to, to SMEs. So I'm going to share my presentation. So some, I guess someone is sharing. No, OK. Let's see if it will works properly. I'm not sure if you are able to see my presentation right now. Yeah. OK. So we can move forward. Just uh, short notes before starting and to present myself. Uh, questions should be addressed by using the shot, please. Uh, we'll have 10 minutes to, to answer your questions. Um, we are going to record uh, the session and uh, welcome uh, to one of uh, the events uh, within the framework of Motissimo uh, Textile uh, National Trade Fair. My name is Ana Ribeiro. I'm from uh, CITEF uh, and the Portuguese Textile Cluster. Uh, so I'm the cluster manager. Uh, and today we are going to share with you uh, text for am project, uh, text for am opportunities, uh, and uh, how this project can be a, a innovation enabler. So, just a, a short overview uh, on a project. This is a, a project under the Cosmo uh, framework, um, and uh, uh, it's really a strong uh, partnership, uh, engaging uh, eight. Uh, textile and clothing uh, clusters uh, from Europe, uh, representing seven countries uh, and uh, eight regions. Uh, so th the main goal of this project is to really to, to, to have this strong and sustainable partnership. Uh, and this partnership has the, the main uh, goal uh, to provide, to help, uh, to, to help SMEs, uh, mainly SMEs, uh, to move forward uh, to a more uh, innovative, innovative scenario. Uh, and uh, even though the project will end uh, at the end of the next month, uh, one of the main deliverables or the main milestones of this project is really to provide a long-term roadmap and cooperation agenda uh, in order uh, to keep us alive as a partnership uh, to help companies uh, and, to, and to provide uh, services uh, to uh, to bring uh, SMEs to a more competitive uh, uh, landscape. Uh, and uh, with the main focus of uh, uh, industrial modernization uh, and also uh, providing this cross-regional and cross-sectoral uh, cooperation uh, among uh, European uh, regions and European stakeholders and key players. Uh, so uh, we really would like to be an innovation enabler, an innovation accelerator. Uh, and for that, uh, at the very beginning, uh, this partnership uh, borns uh, within uh, the framework of Regiotex initiative. Uh, Regiotex initiative is uh, an European uh, network uh, that joins uh, the, the regions that do have a strong uh, textile and clothing ecosystem. And within this uh, network or within this initiative, uh, we discuss, uh, we we try to 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 do the the best network uh, and uh, and to, to link uh, the challenges of all the regions in order to promote these strong partnerships uh, to address uh, the challenges that we need to to fulfill in the near future. Uh, and and within the Regiotex, uh, uh, eight uh, clusters. Um, start to discussing uh, and apply for this funding uh, within this uh, this cause cosm uh, framework uh, and uh, uh, today this partnership joins two clusters from italy uh, the portuguese textile cluster one cluster from spain uh, sweden 
Romania, France and Czech Republic, uh, with the main objectives of set up a, a sustainable incubator and accelerator system uh, in, order, in order to promote innovation, to generate joint investment projects for textile and closing sector, to link regions, to link sectors. Uh, and, uh, and for that, uh, we start at the very beginning uh, to, to look uh, to the textile and closing European ecosystem to identify the main actors, the main players, the main stakeholders, uh, the main entities that could uh, bring to this uh, 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 scenario uh, tools to help uh, SMEs, uh, but also we map other relevant uh, stakeholders and sectors uh, that could uh, fill the gaps of the new value chains that we are building right now, uh, that we are uh, addressing in order to fulfill uh, the, the the challenges and the thematic priorities that we all know that are our trailblazers for the for the, the next uh, uh, the, the the next uh, uh, days or the next months or the next years. Uh, so uh, we 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 do have uh, uh, this commitment in order to have this strong uh, partnership uh, that could uh, join um, different stakeholders. Uh, to move to move towards industrial uh, modernization uh, and also to accelerate the uptake of uh, innovation uh, and to increase uh, the competitiveness of the SMEs. And uh, uh, for that, uh, we start to identify and to align our thematic priorities. Uh, and that uh, that ones you you all know because we are uh, uh, willing to tackle circular economy, sustainability, and bioeconomy. Uh, we want to also to provide uh, and to enable uh, digital transition. Uh, look to these digital technologies, uh, of course, to address uh, more and more technical markets. Uh, and uh, uh, we need to be uh, aware also of new business models and the creation of textile uh, value, new textile uh, value chains. Um, and, uh, and this is only will be possible uh, in order to, OK, we do have this text for m consortium uh, at, at the center of this overall ecosystem, but we need to bring uh, the other uh, relevant uh, players. So we need to bring, uh, as I mentioned, we 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 have done those mapping, uh, the 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 sector, uh, the text the textile and closing uh, SMEs uh, and other relevant uh, companies that could act like trailblazers uh, to move towards these uh, thematic priorities. Uh, we need to bring uh, to us uh, uh, SMEs uh, and stakeholders from other sectors, the R and D centers, and uh, it is missing here, but. Uh, I, I would say that uh, we also need to, to, to bring to this ecosystem the, the, the policymakers and uh, other uh, relevant entities that can provide uh, funding. Uh, and I was wondering, like uh, uh, capital ventures, business angels, and those uh, entities that can also provide uh, private uh, finance uh, in order to, uh, to, to help companies to move forward uh, with their with their projects, with their innovation, with their new solutions to tackle these high demanding and at value markets, um, and uh, just a, a quick overlook of our target markets. So uh, uh, we do have this strong uh, cluster staff uh, within our partnership, but of course we are doing this linkage and the, this uh, uh, this bridge uh, with other clusters, with other relevant uh, clusters uh, in in uh, in Europe. Uh, and we do have this strong uh, staff from the clusters that can provide uh, services uh, such as uh, uh, partner search, matchmaking, uh, brokerage, uh, that uh, that do have this strong link with uh, with uh, with SMEs, with the industrial scenario uh, that could uh, provide us relevant information in order uh, for us to make the bridge and, tr and try to influence policymakers uh, to better align. Uh, their financial instruments and tools uh, to be more aligned uh, with uh, with uh, industry uh, challenges and to the industry changes and to to be uh, to be a strong support uh, for for companies uh, to move uh, towards 
uh, this uh, the, 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 this uh, uh, innovative solutions, these uh, high demanding markets uh, to be more competitive at the end of the day. Uh, and uh, and for that, this this uh, partnership is really, really now at this stage, uh, pretty much engaged in order not only to, to provide the services that we are committed under the project, but uh, OK, the project is uh, almost uh, at the end, uh, but also to have this strong uh, roadmap and support services that will be kept alive after the end of the project. So at the end of April, we we'll still uh, do have this partnership uh, working uh, towards a more competitive uh, European uh, textile and clothing sector. And for that, we are going to provide uh, networking activities. So uh, as much as we can, we are going to, to promote this uh, matchmaking and brokerage events, uh, partner search. Uh, we have done a strong effort in order to have a, a huge mapping of uh, uh, relevant uh, players in textile and closing sector outside the textile and closing sector addressing uh, uh, these uh, new challenges that we need to fulfill. And um, uh, what I was wondering, uh, for instance, uh, like uh, in order to address by economy, we do have this, uh, uh, this relevant actors from the agro food, from forestry side, in order to help us on move towards to identify new natural base resources that could be uh, a relevant raw material for, for the production of more and more sustainable and circular products. Uh, we do have these uh, these uh, strong players in uh, high and in, in, in relevant hand markets uh, to tackle these technical uh, textiles applications and uh, I would say automotive, habitat, uh, health and well-being. Health sector is more and more important for uh, uh, for our uh, for our value chain uh, and we are a relevant player uh, and we have seen that during this pandemic situation. So we do have a, 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 a very valuable player in providing solutions uh, to fight these pandemics, this, uh, this, uh, this virus. Uh, so textile is really uh, an important uh, sector that could, could be uh, in several scenarios and helping uh, also uh, the society at the end of the day. Uh, so we, we do have these mappings, so we, we are able to identify the best players, the best uh, uh, the knowledge where where companies can find the best knowledge to address a certain a certain uh, uh, challenge to 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 fulfill uh, a certain skill that they need to tackle. Um, also, we do have this strong mapping of relevant uh, financial uh, um, players or relevant uh, uh, entities that could provide. Uh, financing at the end of the day and uh, let's say from pu public side uh, uh, we do have this uh, uh, the, the, this mapping of the programs that uh, are uh, have been implemented and we are uh, very aware of the new uh, the new uh, frameworks that uh, that uh, uh, will be launched in the near future uh, but also we we do have this strong ecosystem in regards to private funding like business angels capital ventures uh, and also to, to projects that can provide cascade funding uh, in order to, uh, again, uh, to finance uh, innovation and uh, to, to help comp uh, SMEs uh, to provide and to uh, increase the maturity of their solutions, their innovative solutions to be more prepared to go to the market. Uh, so, uh, to enable and promote innovation, we will uh, provide and deploy uh, 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 some kind of a toolbox to facilitate uh, this, uh, this uh, textile and closing business, uh, this cross-regional approach, this cross-sectorial link, uh, and also uh, to find the best financial support uh, for, uh, to move forward. Uh, also, the, 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 the partnership uh, will give uh, support on proposal preparation on the, and, pr and the proposal preparation. This means that uh, uh, align the proposal preparation uh, to fulfill or to address uh, a specific finance. If, uh, if we need to, to, to go to public funding, so we will provide these uh, this, uh, services, this knowledge in order to better prepare this proposal to address a specific uh, public funding. But if we are going to 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 look for private funding, so we need to have a different kind of proposal uh, to address 
um, their uh, eligibility criteria and to and to 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 raise their attention uh, to put money uh, on the those de developments. So uh, and 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 the the eight partners are pretty much committed uh, into into help companies to to build those those strong uh, proposals and those strong uh, uh, and these strong uh, instruments to apply uh, for better. Uh, apply to finance. Just some uh, some tips, uh, some uh, some uh, some information on on the project. So uh, uh, we already launched uh, the first call of expression of interest, uh, and uh, at the end of the 2019, uh, and by that time we received uh, uh, around 80, uh, nine, uh, 20. I'm sorry, around 20 expression of interest for evaluation. Uh, and 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 uh, this uh, uh, expression uh, of interest uh, was more or less aligned with the first matchmaking event in Sweden. And by that time, uh, companies not only send uh, the, the the their expression of interest uh, addressing a specific challenge that they, that they wanted to fulfill and to move forward, uh, but also they do have the time to attend to a matchmaking event uh, in order to make uh, the the match and to find partners to move forward with uh, with their with their proposals and with their ideas. Uh, and within the partnership, uh, we cannot address all. Uh, the 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 expression of interest that uh, that uh, we received. So we need to to have this uh, um, evaluation and then to uh, to identify uh, and from the first call we identify uh, eight uh, that uh, are now uh, moving moving forward to prepare mini mini business plans. Then th those mini business plans are going to be evaluated again, and then we'll hand at the end of April with five complete business plans. This means those proposals that are pretty aligned uh, to uh, the, the, the best uh, uh, funds that uh, we can recommend. So it will, if it will be more for, uh, for public funding, we will uh, provide this proposal more aligned uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, those gui with the guidelines for public funding. If it will be for private funding, we will uh, help companies to better prepare th their proposals to to apply to private funding. So we are now at the second call of the expression of interest. So I uh, would really like to invite you all uh, to submit your ideas uh, by using tax 4 uh, um, project website. Uh, uh, because we are going to, to again, uh, to look to, to the best ones and to help uh, those ones to prepare these mini business plans. And at the end, after a second uh, round of evaluation, we'll end up with these five complete business plans. But even if you would not, we will not be selected uh, to, to, to be within these uh, five complete business plans. Please uh, be aware that you do have this uh, strong partnership to support, to help, to better uh, find uh, 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 partners and uh, the best solutions to, to move forward uh, and to uh, apply uh, for funding. So be aware of that. Uh, stay tuned, go to our website, uh, send your expression of interest. You will be in our network uh, uh, and, uh, and we can uh, still help you uh, on, the, on, the, on move for, moving forward. So just a short overview of the projects that we received at the, during the first call. And also we do have this uh, very uh, 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 well-defined uh, selection criteria. So the partnership uh, is, uh, is evaluating those, uh, those expression of interest in what regards to 10 uh, criteria. And at the end, uh, we'll select the ones that will move forward with, uh, within this, uh, this journey. Uh, to to prepare their proposals and uh, and to 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 get funding to to for the the projects uh, that companies are applying for. Uh, so uh, really, really, I would like to encourage you to send your project idea uh, as soon as possible until the end of this month uh, at least. But uh, as soon as possible, please uh, use our website. You will have uh, uh, um, it's uh, uh, not uh, very complicated, so you need to to fill in a, a template uh, with some information of the of the the project, the solution, uh, the idea that you that you have with some indicators in what regards to to to, to, to the 
to the results, uh, uh, to the impact, uh, uh, to the main tasks, but it's it's really not hard work to do. Uh, and uh, uh, as as soon as you as you send us this uh, this uh, expression of interest, you will be within our framework. So you'll we'll have a strong team uh, providing you support uh, to move forward. Uh, and uh, also, uh, we uh, do have this uh, second uh, text for IM matchmaking event open. So until the 17th of March, you will have the opportunity uh, during the next week to attend to several webinars. Uh, those webinars was, were uh, uh, prepared in order to give uh, companies to give uh, uh, the, the different uh, entities uh, an overview of several instruments that are running now and that could be uh, a strong help uh, not only to finance but also to support SMEs to move forward and to tackle their challenges. Uh, so we will have uh, Cascade founding instruments. Uh, we will have um, uh, strong networks that, that are under several uh, European projects uh, where we you can find uh, different partners, skills, knowledge, competencies, strong teams that could help to move forward. Uh, we will have uh, uh, also uh, some uh, information on uh, a service that the uh, European Commission is providing uh, 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 that companies can apply and to get support on the business on business plans preparation or market intelligence. So uh, until 17 of March, uh, you will have the opportunity uh, to attend to those uh, webinars. Uh, it will not be uh, so more or less one and a, one hour and a half webinars, but uh, with very specific focus on providing as much as uh, uh, we can relevant tools and instruments for SMEs to, to, to apply for funding, to get support, to make business and uh, to promote uh, the, 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 their uh, projects uh, and, uh, and to, to reach the market with more and more innovative solutions, uh, addressing uh, high uh, technical uh, textiles, advanced textiles, addressing sustainability, circular economy, digital transition. So it's uh, we do have uh, this very eclectic uh, instruments to provide to you and to and to explain how you can apply uh, to to uh, to those uh, to those projects, to those tools, to those instruments. And uh, I guess I'm I'm running out of time, but still. I would like just to share with you uh, how I'm going to move my screen to 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 uh, to, um, to our map, to the platform of that is supporting this matchmaking event. And uh, what I'm going to do is just a quick overview, and I hope you can still see my screen. Uh, I'm really confident on that. <laughs> OK, I, I suppose you are. So just yes. just 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 a quick overview that uh, please go to uh, uh, Motissim online marketplace. Uh, you, you will find here. Uh, so far, almost 30. Uh, 30, uh, 340, I'm sorry, uh, participants register registered participants from uh, uh, 21 different countries, uh, mainly from Europe, but we do have uh, uh, some countries outside of Europe. So we, you can go to, to the marketplace and see uh, the offers of those participants of the entities. You also can go to uh, visit uh, 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 Motissimo online trade, trade fair you can uh, visit uh, iTextile Showcase and iTextile Green Circle. Uh, you do have this very eclectic, active and strong agenda. Uh, so today you are still able to attend to the afternoon webinars on skills and on digital uh, transitions, our digital talks. Uh, this one will be in Portuguese, so 
Sorry for those ones who, who could not understand Portuguese, sorry for that. But uh, during the 15th, the 16th and the 17th of March, so next Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, you will have the opportunity to attend to several webinars, as I mentioned, that will provide you different tools, instruments and projects that you can apply uh, to, to, for funding, for support services. Um, and you will have the platform open uh, to schedule your meetings. So you have B2B meetings, so you can uh, uh, go to your agenda, to, to, to go to the participants list, to schedule the meetings with the, with the participants or with the entities that you would like to make business, to, to set up some corporations. So please use this, uh, this tool. Uh, to, uh, this is uh, in a virtual way because uh, we cannot do it physically. Hope to, to be present in physical events soon. But please use this platform uh, to tackle your business, to, to move forward, to find partners. Uh, and to uh, increase more and more uh, your, uh, your, um, your, your, your business and, uh, and your innovations. So I'm uh, completely open to answer your questions. I do have uh, one question here uh, in our chat. So uh, when and where this registration will be available. Uh, so I will answer both. So the, I'm not sure if it is for the tax for m For tax for m expression of interest uh, applications, I would say uh, as soon as possible and keep the end of March because we will have April to, to hand up and to, 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 to move forward uh, with this uh, mini business plan preparations. Um, but uh, uh, to attend to this matchmaking event, you are uh, still open to, to register, to register in a marketplace, to register in the webinars and to attend to the webinars even for today afternoon, but also for the next uh, three days, uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday next week. And I'm going to look uh, to the chat. I don't see. Uh, any questions here? So I hope that uh, I was able to to be. Uh, I'm I'm OK. Another question. Yes, uh, on the marketplace, if you go to the bit too much platform uh, on the marketplace, you will find uh, uh, not only and the services, the products, uh, uh, all the, 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 the offers that uh, the companies are providing, but you will find a list of participants uh, um, and you can contact them in order to better, uh, to better uh, tackle your needs. Uh, and if you go to Motissimo uh, online exhibition, uh, you can also find different uh, Portuguese uh, companies exhibiting their products and their solutions uh, in order to uh, better um, uh, for you to better uh, understand what we as a, a strong textile ecosystem can provide uh, to uh, to um, can provide uh, to 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 you and and uh, and and can pro can uh, be uh, with what we can supply. Um, so please visit uh, all these platforms that are. Uh, if you go to the marketplace, you you have all the links to the platforms uh, to to move forward and to tackle your needs. And uh, OK, if no further questions. Uh, so please stay tuned to text for I am. Please address all your questions to the partnership. So uh, we are a partner of the, this project. The coordinator uh, is the Tuscany cluster, so you can uh, send us uh, uh, all uh, your questions uh, and by using our website, textforim.eu, 
uh, or by using uh, uh, the clusters that are within the partnership uh, to better uh, provide you uh, services uh, and, and to help you on move forward on business. And please attend to the webinars next week uh, to, to move forward. So I can see another question here in our chat. Yes, we are going to have uh, these uh, workshops uh, and uh, and you can contact us to, to, to move forward with the business plan uh, preparation and to help us help you on uh, on discuss and to and to link to, to, to the partners and to make these B2B uh, meetings uh, 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 more effective. OK, so thank you for attending this session. Please stay tuned. Stay tuned to tax for m project. Stay tuned to the Motissimo online and to all the, all the events that are under this umbrella. Uh, stay tuned to the matchmaking events. And uh, if you want to, to move forward, please go to the website and uh, send your expression of interest. So thank you for attending this webinar.